Well, good evening, Sandra Moore, Independent Avon Sales Representative and Bronze Leader, coming to you a little bit late in the day, and probably everybody is out at ball games or um, out to eat, out shopping. We used to go out shopping on Friday nights many long years ago. It's been a long time since I've done that. I've probably mentioned how much I hate to shop, but we did that. On Friday evenings, we'd meet them all. And yeah, anyway, everybody's out. Nobody's watching, but people will watch later. Um, maybe somebody will find me before I get finished. I was really supposed to do this video a couple of days ago. The final giveaway for my Customer Appreciation Month, which is what I declared September to be for my customers. And I gave away a bunch of stuff. And I had a drawing where I gave away... 10 different items, and this was to my email customers, my people who allow me to send them an email reminder when I'm about to turn in an order, and I let them know that I had 10 items, and they could tell me which ones they wanted to go into the drawing for, and I would do a drawing for those items, and I did that. There weren't a whole lot of entries. I can't remember how many. Um, but it let me know that, you know, not a, not everybody reads their emails or else some people just don't like free stuff. They like what they like and they don't really like free stuff. Um, maybe they're better at keeping down clutter than I am. <laughs> or it could be they just don't read emails because, yeah, that's what I hear a lot. In fact, um, one reason I'm coming late tonight is, um, I've been out car shopping for my next Avon Mobile. This will be Avon Mobile number four. I had a Ford Aerostar, and then I had a Mercury Villager. That was the purplish toned one. It was sort of a iris, I think is what they called it. Um, and then the Santa Fe, and now it's gonna be another Santa Fe. It's on its way from Tupelo, Mississippi, or it will be shortly. Uh, the the call has put full, been put forth to have it brought from Santa, I mean, <laughs> from Santa Fe, no, from Tupelo. So it will be the color I'm wanting. I'm pretty sure I've not seen it in person, but I think, I think it's Serrano red. I believe that's the way you say that. The color that is popular now is it, in the reds is called um, Regal Red Pearl. And that's okay, but I really wanted that, what we what I call a candy apple red. And I think the technical name for the Santa Fe of that is the Serrano red. So anyway, this is a Santa Fe Sport that will most likely be, be mine once I look it over really good, uh, once it gets here. So... <laughs> That should be next week. My my uh, Avon Mobile number three was in the shop this week, and that's why I got way behind on deliveries. It was in the shop from Tuesday afternoon. A break started goofing up on me as I was out doing Avon deliveries on Tuesday afternoon. So I had to abandon those and put it in the shop, and it's been there ever since. Till I picked it up at what four thirty five five o'clock tonight. And I uh, talked with a fella at Phoenix Motors, where I get my repairs done generally. And he recommended that I not put a whole lot more money into it because um, I was, um, it, it's at that age, it's 170,000 miles. And he said, that's a good life for a Hyundai. So um, I just um, decided I would go on and I actually last night when I knew what this repair was and um, that there was possibly going to be even more expense due to some oil leakage problem that I decided you know to go ahead and get online and, and do some looking for a vehicle and I did find kind of what I wanted but I needed to see the equivalent they didn't have the red one at CarMax here where I was looking uh, but I went and looked at the equivalent um, and decided it would be what I needed. And so I've got my color coming. So um, 
anyway, that's what I've been doing tonight. And uh, I will get some more deliveries done with the Santa Fe. Might have it up for sale before too long to somebody who needs an older vehicle. I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and get that other repair work done on the oil leak first. And hang on to it for just a short while. And then maybe, you know, just as a backup, have it for a short while. And maybe it'll be on the market before too long to somebody who needs an older vehicle. So, it's, uh, I always hate learning something new. You know, and, uh, um, what I had was, I think, a 2005, I always forget the numbers, uh, the years. But, um, so it's, you know, very old technology. <laughs> so, I got to learn all that new technology, which the guy was dealing with at CarMax. It's like, oh, but it's easy. And I'm like, yes, but it's all something new to learn and get used to, which is one reason I put off for so long getting something. But anyway, moving on to the drawing. I see that somebody has popped in. I have no idea who. I'm not seeing the words for some reason. But um, this is the second drawing. I went ahead um, and did another 10 item drawing to uh, see if I could get more interest or just to have more fun for the second half of the month. And believe it or not, there was less interest in this drawing. Uh, these people just, just not really look at Oh, well, that's what I was going to say when I was talking to the guy at CarMax. He said, oh, I hardly ever look at my email. I'm like, yeah, that's what, you know, I'm checking mine all the time because I have a business. And so naturally, I'm checking my emails for Avon orders or whatever um, all the time, several times a day, but not everybody does that, which is their prerogative, right? But anyway, because they're not doing that, they're not uh, entering my little giveaways. And so if you did enter, <clears throat> there's a very good chance you'll win something tonight. So let's talk about what we've got <coughs> as we do the drawing. I've either got a cold or I've got allergies. I don't have anything that drags me down and makes me feel bad. It's just all in the head and the throat and all of that. So, okay. I did the same as before. I just put the names on the little pieces of paper for whoever entered for the different items. Item number one, I don't even have to show you because it's the lots of, uh, I'm sorry, Love at First Lash Mascara which is my new favorite and a new favorite of some of my customers. In fact, I don't have any more in stock <laughs> because I sold what I had in stock. So um, I will be ordering that unless I find one here in my stock. So I think I thought I had one and then I didn't. But anyway, um, so let's just see who's going to get that. I will order it on my order that will be going off on Monday night. If you need Avon, uh, let me know before Monday night at 8 o'clock. Betty Baldwin. Betty Baldwin gets the mascara. So let's put that over here. I believe she won on the last drawing. So let's put bag number one. Do you know these bags are currently out of stock? And here I had taken 10 of them and put numbers on them. So I'm going to be whiting these out and using them for delivery because this is my favorite size bag and they're currently out of stock. So... Um, a lot of people selling Avon and using up all the bags. Okay, let's see. Who is number two? I would put my words over here so I could see who's... Let's see if I can do that. I don't know. It's not letting me see who's watching. I see I've got a couple of viewers, but it's not letting me see who they are. Okay, and bag number two. Number two is the clinical retexturizing peel. The one that I have in stock that's not the extra strength. This is the original strength. I love that product. I gave one of, one of those away last time, I think. And the winner for that one is Joanne Loy. Okay. And so let's put that there. Bag number two is down. Let's go for number three. Okay. Oh, number three is the Always on Point eyeliner in brown black or black brown black brown actually um, I think I think if it says black brown it means there's more black than there is brown at least it seems to be that way to me on these um, they're not you know like dark dark black but they're mostly black if does that make sense Kim Dugan okay I don't know if that's a product she's ever used and that was one of my ideas with this giveaway was to let some people try some products that they 
might not have ever used, you know, and, and see if they liked them by giving it to them. Okay, number four is absolute. So that one reason that I put out, you know, to tell me, instead of just putting everybody's name in, everything, tell me which ones you want is because some people don't do fragrances. Some people do uh, natural fragrances and, and, and don't do unnatural, <laughs> you know, which of course, Absolute does have some um, flower fragrances and things to it. Absolute is a, um, it's an actual parfum, I guess you say. Uh, this is one of the, the um, has the most scent, to, concentrated scent to it, but it's a beautiful bottle and the fragrance is this pretty color too. And it's a floral fragrance. And let's see if we had anybody who entered for that. I believe we did. Let's see who this could be here. Um, Lisa Maris. Lisa Maris gets the absolute. Okay. Number five is the Vital. We've got the day and the night in the two-week trial sizes that do last longer than two weeks for some people, but they are TSA approved, and you've got your day and your night, and this is the one that's recommended for, uh, okay, now I can see that Joanne is here. I don't know why before it wasn't showing me who was here, so hey, Joanne, and I've got another viewer, but I don't have any idea who that is, but this, let's see, Joanne, did you win something already? Yes, you won the retexturizing test. All right, and we have, um, Joanne always participates, so let's see. This one right here is the one I had in my fingers. And Kathy Lake gets this one, okay? So that's the two-week on Vital. All right, the next thing we've got is number six. That's the Big and Multiplied Mascara. And let's get bag number six out here to see who's getting that. Yay! <laughs> She didn't want, she had participated last time and didn't win anything, but she did this time. Okay, big and multiplied. Coming up with a name here. Let's see, there we go. Okay. You get that one too, Joanne. So I know you love uh, the first last one, but hey, you might like this one or you might want to gift that to somebody. And um, she said she's a mascara snob. <laughs> so she's particular about her mascaras, but I, I, that's... A lot of people are, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, number seven was the glimmer sticks that I, I had copper and um, smoky gray. These are eyeliners uh, in the glimmer sticks. And that's number seven. So let's see who's good. Somebody gets both of those. Okay. Um, and this name is Joanne Loy gets those too. I told you there weren't very many people entered this time. So, yeah. We racked up. They just don't like free stuff, Joanne. <laughs> Joanne's my bargain shopper person. <laughs> she goes to the thrift store. I was Joanne, I was telling Bonnie, I don't think I told you this, but I was telling Bonnie we uh, we have some puzzles that we need to uh get rid of because we've just our stack of puzzles has just gotten kind of ridiculous in fact it's more than one stack now <laughs> and so some of them need to go and uh, I told her we could get them over to saving way I said if we weren't going to make it over to saving way anytime soon that Joanne could take them <laughs> so I'll take them to Joanne she can take them to jo the saving way for me volunteered you for that job okay let's see who got what are we giving away this time we are giving away the lipstick, I believe that, let's see, what color was that lipstick? The, um, okay, something plum. I looked at it a while ago and I've already forgotten. But this is the extra lasting lipstick, which we don't have anymore. And um, I don't know why we don't, but we don't. And we've got that and we've got the soft black eye, eyebrow. So let's see who went for that. Kim Dugan. Okay. I think Kim Dugan can use those. And that brings us down to the two A boxes. So the first A box is the Joy of Red. I may have shown this before. I'm not sure. It's got 
a red nail enamel. This is royal red. Joanne, if you can, you just popped on late, my Serrano red Santa Fe, the next Avon Mobile, is on its way from Tupelo, Mississippi. <laughs> I think I'm buying it. I got to look at it but first, but I'm pretty sure I had to have it moved. Okay, Imari and... Um, now, some people, Joanne, I know that you are not really interested in fragrance, but maybe, you know, somebody, you know, likes this. But some people who have allergies to fragrances say they can, um, or, you know, maybe not an allergy to it, but maybe gives them a headache or something. They say they can use Amari. My mama uh, used to use Amari. She doesn't use fragrance now, but that's the one she used, and my sister, Donna, did. Okay, we've got... Fiery red glimmer stick, not glimmer stick, um, glaze wear, and a red lipstick. I'm not going to try to even read the name, and I think this is a red lip liner. So, um, we've got red, 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 and red. The joy of red. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I didn't draw a name. Why am I, why am I acting like if that's going to be yours, Joanne? <laughs> I haven't even drawn a name for that. That was weird. Okay, it might be yours. Let's see, here we go. Maybe it was ESP, let's see. No, it's Kathy Lake. <laughs> it's not yours, Joanne. You don't have to worry about whether or not you like that. You can use Amari. <laughs> My brain is tired. It's just tired. Car shopping. Okay, number 10 is the last a box and that is the I love you a box that one has some stud earrings I'm not gonna open that box it's got big and daring mascara it's got the eye makeup remover black is black eyeliner and a mocha latte glaze wear okay and so that one is I love you right there. Okay. I love my customers, so I'm giving one of them an I love you A box if I can get it back together and put the lid on. Everything fit in here before I opened it. Doesn't want to fit now. So I I think I had like 18 A boxes in my stash. So I'm kind of, I've given away four this week. No, five, six, six, is that right? I forget. Okay, here we go. This one is a Betty Baldwin, okay? So Betty Baldwin gets that A box. Okay, so Joanne, you did win a couple of things this time. All right, and third person came in. Who is that? Shay Steele. I need moisturizer. Okay, Shay. Just let me know which one, okay? And I'll get it cheap. Uh, Monday night is when I turn in my order, okay? And um, so let me know however you want to. <laughs> I take orders in all kinds of directions and just, you know, texting, messaging on Facebook, email, phone calls even. <laughs> comment here in the uh, comments. I'll get it. So, thanks for watching, you guys. And this is, like I said, this is the last time I give away. Oh, talk about puzzles. I'll go ahead and show you the one we just finished. Um, uh, Gary, whoops, that's not the best way to do that. Let's look at the camera. Gary wanted me to put one up, so I put this one out last week on this card table. Now I have to move all the A boxes off of it so you can see it. Bought this one up at the Diana Singing. They, we actually got three different ones at the Diana Singing. They um, have these, uh, I think mostly it's the campers and people that bring them in. But isn't that pretty? You know, Gary loves flowers. And so, um, I love old porches. Like the one Kenny showed a picture of today with his grandpa. Or was that yesterday? But anyway. So, yes, this, this, this doesn't belong there. That's my sticky tabs. But it has uh, lots of pretty flowers on it. So it's, an, it's a thousand piece puzzle. There was one piece left missing right there. The funny thing is there was an extra piece in the box right there. 
and it's almost the same shape. It doesn't fit, but it's close, and it's so strange. Um, but uh, so Gary said he tried putting that piece so many different places in this puzzle, and it turned out it didn't even belong to this puzzle. And why is it that you always end up with just one piece missing when you're doing thousand piece puzzles? It's lucky there's not more than one around this house with cats and all of that. So, okay, y'all have a good evening. I will be getting these delivered. I'm not sure when because I am so far behind on my deliveries due to the vehicle being in the shop, but I will get them delivered to my customers very soon. And um, y'all have a good evening. Let me know what you need by Monday night at 8 o'clock, okay? From campaign 22, and I can order from 21 and 20. And some of you don't even have a 22 book yet because I had to quit when my car had to go in the shop. All right, back to work and to sleep.